school holidays in London and vast numbers of school children come to the Science Museum in Kensington. Gallery after gallery contains apparatus and machines of incalculable value because so many are originals and exist only here. And most of the children make, of course, for the children's gallery, where there are dozens of fascinating things to play with. And let's talk now to Mr. Wilson, who's in charge. Uh, Mr. Wilson, about how many children would you say came to this gallery every day in the holidays? Well, it runs into thousands. I should think on a busy day we get as many as 3,000 people through this gallery. And which is the most popular of all the gadgets here to play with? Um, I think undoubtedly the tape recorder over there. And after that? The self-opening door, I think. Now, lots of these, of course, are fascinating toys, but do you really think they learn anything from them? Oh, yes, undoubtedly they do. Uh, they learn a great deal, but the most important thing is they think that science is a very marvellous thing, and that's what we want to show them. Nothing is missed in science and technology here. Ships and ship propulsion, for example. And here is the oldest known ship model, made in Egypt 4,000 years ago. And here we span nearly 40 centuries to see a working model of the famous steamship, the Great Eastern, one of the early steamships. Interested in cars? What about this Rolls-Royce of 1905? Perhaps you prefer a jet-propelled motor car? Well, here is the first one of 1950. Take atomic physics. Here you have the very first of the great atom smashers, the actual machine used by Cockcroft and Walton in their famous experiments of 1932. Today we have vast machines, atom-smashing machines, called cyclotrons. And here is a, a wonderful model of how one might work. A steel ball comes out of the center, you see, and at every half a revolution it gets a kick of energy. And so it gets faster and faster on an ever-widening spiral until at last one is going at such a speed that it shoots off and hits the target. Just like this one. There. And another one and it's the target for which the work is required. No one who studied this carefully can fail to learn something of how a cyclotron works. And this educational aspect of the museum makes it outstanding in the world as a place for scientific instruction and entertainment. And after all, we're all children at heart. I hope 